Good afternoon, everybody. It's your girl Travel with a Lay reporting live from Vancouver, British Columbia. <sighs> I gotta show y'all. I, I just gotta show y'all. I'm gonna take y'all through. Y'all already know the deal. Let's go. Let's go right now. So, 1508. I'm currently staying at Sandman Suites, Vancouver. Apparently, there's a couple of Sandman Suites in Vancouver. So, if you go to the one on Davie Street, that is the one I'm staying at currently. So, let me take you first through the first room. Bathroom. Okay, bathroom is bathroom is pretty pretty modern, pretty basic. You know what I'm saying? It gets the job done. That's really all that matters for the most part. Y'all know already. Now, first closet. First closet. So this closet has the basic stuff, the safe, hangers, all that other good jazz. Um, let me take you to the second closet. Second closet, you know, they were ever so nice to include a nice little washer and dryer combo for us, which is nice. That's cool, right? Now, I know y'all see them, them views in the back, but let me just, hold on, hold on. Let me give it some time. So with this room, this is, we're staying at the one bedroom king suite. This is like a fully accommodated room. So it has the washer, the microwave, the stove. It has, of course, like dishes and all this other stuff like that, pots. Um, it has like a little wash area. It also has this, which is the fridge. Not necessarily too modern, but it it gets the job done. Um, I think this apartment... Oh, well, let me just take out to the living room. Living room comes right after that. You got the TV, LG. You have everything else here. I'm not going to take you out to the views yet because y'all got to wait for that. Here's the bedroom. The bedroom is pretty decent. Um, closet is a little deceiving, not going to lie to you, because all of this space right here could, probably could have been utilized for some additional like you know keeping your your stuff in there or whatever but they do have ropes so i'm always appreciative of that and extra linens um let's see mirror is huge bed is really huge and then they have a phillips tv which is kind of old school but it is what it is it ain't that real and then let me take y'all to the views so all y'all hold on excuse me y'all excuse me y'all hold on hold on let me take y'all to this do y'all see this y'all see this shit so first of all let me just take y'all over here so i'ma zoom clearly in those backgrounds that is mountains so we are on the 15th floor and we get a full-on view of the mountains so like one to me that's gonna be like hella beautiful when we wake up early in the morning tomorrow which we are gonna be doing but this is gonna be great and then down below we have the outdoor pool they have a little patio area and stuff like that I mean it's pretty it's pretty cool um the thing that I would probably say for y'all to oh yeah let me put the camera back on me real quick the thing that I would probably say for y'all to like worry about it's more than likely going to be the weather in Vancouver. So, weather right now is about a solid 68 degrees. Um, if you are from New York, then 68, this is more like a 68 for like September, early October, which is like that good like leather jacket kind of weather kind of vibe. Whereas, I feel like everybody that I've seen so far that's been in Vancouver either has on like a short sleeve shirt. Um... And this is a different type of cold, especially if you're coming here in the summertime and coming from New York. So that can be a bit of an adjustment. So I would probably say pack. Um, pack some long sleeve shirts. As you see here, I got a couple of long sleeve shirts on. Um, or I got one long sleeve shirt on. I packed a jacket. Um, this trip for me is going to be a pretty active trip. Um, because I'm going to be doing whale watching. I'm going to be doing um, biking and hiking in the mountains, in the rainforest area where I showed y'all that over there. And then I'm also gonna probably be doing, by the end of this, we're gonna go visit the Capilano Bridge, which is a really popular bridge um, in Vancouver that is known for like taking us through these huge rainforest areas and having us like travel and stuff like that. So I think that's the part that's been really, really cool about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
as far as prices go let me get down to some of those details so price wise for the hotel we paid in total it was the three of us oh by the way didn't get to show my best friends Hi! that's best friend number one <laughs> With the, why would she do that face? Because she knows she's going to be mad at me later when I post this shit. And then as best friend number two who keeps popping her head back in and out. Say hi, doc. Hi. There we go. All right. So. <laughs> so we, we split the price of everything. Um, nah, I'm holding the strap. I ain't playing that. Um, we split the price of everything, y'all. So, so as far as like the price breakdown, like I started planning the trip. Um, months in advance so we did everything separate by separate so the first thing we did is we um we kind of looked into the price of hotel the hotel cost was maybe about like a thousand and sixty eight or something like that because it cost us each of us for the hotel cost us 360 and we're here for four days so that cost us that then by let's see then with the excursions cost the excursions cost look at her being a creep now she want to say hello um with the excursions cost that was a <laughs> that, that was um i'm sorry y'all with the excursions cost that came out to about 305 and actually it was cheaper because when i did the tally up of all the excursions and we have three excursions for the whole entire trip that cost us about 250. so and then our flight was relatively in like the 200 300 range so like this trip was less than a thousand dollars um, and we're getting a lot of stuff in and that's also including the price for also dinner and like extracurricular or extra like money activity so um, If you guys you already know the deal if you guys have any questions comments concerns y'all want to know how do I plan these things out y'all want to know the details on the hotel um, Y'all want to know the details on the flights everything like that. Please feel free to drop a comment Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, please and thank you you see She's giving a thumbs up in the background. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I don't know where the hell Ariel came from because that was just like mad creepy out of nowhere. <laughs> like, please make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. Share. Um, and just, you know, let me know how y'all feeling. And y'all already know. Y'all got any questions, let me know. So peace, love, and blessings. And I'm going to go enjoy this vacay. Later, y'all.